Hey, incoming Warhawks, it's your friendly mentors, Dalton and Colin here, and today we'll be taking you through a virtual tour of Arrowhead Campus. As you can see, Arrowhead Campus is very large in the shape of a number one because it is the number one campus. Up here, we have South Campus. That's where most of your classes will be. And then up there, we have North Campus. We have the football field right in between, ne uh, tennis courts right next to it also. And then we have the South Campus parking lot, the North Campus parking lot. We have the field hockey stadium. We have the Mullet Ice Center. We have the softball and baseball areas and the soccer stadium. All right. All right, so now we have the South Campus map. And it looks confusing at first, but trust me, you guys will get this. We're gonna explain everything. So South Campus can be divided up into some easier parts. We have the 100 hallways down at the bottom that goes all the way down to door C. And then we have the 300 hallways in yellow that go all the way down to door D. Then we have the 400 hallways in green, labeled in green right here, that go to the meet up with the two uh, 300 and 100 hallways. And it kind of goes back a little more by doors H and G. Then we have the 600 hallway that goes all the way down to B. And we have the 800 little hallway in the back by door E and blue. All right, so these big bold letters on the outside of the map, those are the door uh, and exit and entrances that are labeled. So usually by doors D and C, you'll be dropped off by your parents. That's where you'll be dropped off and then you can go to your locker. And then door A is the main entrance and doors G and H are the bus drop off zones. And that's also, if you have a North Campus class, you go through door H up to the foot, walk by the football field and go to North Campus. All right, so we'll start in at the main entrance here. So we just entered door A and we're walking and we go to the left here, we're in the 100 hallways. And that primary section is mostly science classes in that 100 hallway right there. And then those two, S102 and S104, the S stands for South Campus, and then the 102 is the room number. Those are the two study halls. And then if you go through the study halls, you have the big library. And then up there, you have three labs, lab A, B, and C. Sometimes you'll use those for classes and uh, other opportunities you have there. All right, now we have the 200 hallways. We have a si two science classrooms and some math up at the top. Then we enter the 300 hallways. And at the start, we have math all the way down. And then if we take a left, we have some social studies classes back in that corner up there. And then if we go back to where we came from in this intersection and we go back to the continuing the 400 hallways, we have some foreign language classes. So Spanish and French, Chinese, all that. And also the foreign language classes continue in the 300 hallways. And then if we go down quick to these diagonal lines, those are the staircases to get up to the upper level of the English crash classrooms, the 900 hallways. So that's upstairs, and those are usually mostly all English classes. So that's the 900s. And reminder, you have to go upstairs, and the two staircases are labeled by those diagonal lines right there. All right, so if we continue down this staircase and we go back towards the main entrance, we have some 100 classes right there. Those are the business classes. and. S114 and 116, those are health classes. And then if we continue down, we have some English classes and Spanish classes continuing down towards door C here and 
uh, the bottom corner. All right, so right above it is the cafeteria. That's where you have lunch. To the left is the gym. It's called Upper Gym since it's the main gym at South Campus. We also have a lower gym, which is right there. And there's a staircase right here to get down there. That's mostly used for wrestling. And sometimes you have some gym classes down there. And right across from the, the gym right here, those are the locker rooms. So if you ever need to, you'll use those for gym class. And then if we continue kind of back up here towards the 600 hallway, that is your choir and band classes. So choir is 608 and band is, the band room is 607. All right, coming back down to the yellow line for the 300 hallways and we continue all the way down and hit the blue line. That is now the 800 hallways. That is all the engineering classes and whatnot you'll have there. And also if we come back down, there's that three, there's a couple of classes there and those will be art classes right before you get to the 800 hallways. So that kind of wraps up our South Campus map tour. Now you guys have a clear understanding of how it works. Not looks confusing at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. And now you guys have a solid game plan to come in here and know where to go. All right, now we have our schedule run through. So this is what our schedule looks like. We have a piece of paper here and up top we'll have your name, your locker right above where it says combo, I'll say what uh, locker number you are. Right below that, that's the combo, the combination for your locker to get in. All right, and now we get down to the main information here. We have a top and a bottom. The top is semester one, the bottom semester two. All right, so we have these numbers right here. Those will stand for the class period that your class takes place. So we have 10 periods here at Arrowhead every day and the classes on here where the numbers is the same row. That means that's what period your class is at. All right, and then we have the DA that stands for A day and B day. We have A days and B days here at Arrowhead, which are every other day. And it will tell you what class, if it meets on an A day or a B day or both. So right here, we're starting off on the A day, we're missing the first two classes. That means we have a study hall during those two classes if there is no number there. And then the rest of the classes, periods three through 10, they all meet on A days. Now we go to B days, notice how we have a new one and two. That means we have a new class, which is health that only meets on B days. Notice how it's only on the B, not on the A. And then the rest of the classes all meet on B days as well. So periods three through 10 are everyday classes, every A and B day. Well, health and uh, study hall, they are every other day. Now we go to this column, it's uh, called term. I'll say if it's a whole semester class or sometimes the block classes, which we have two here, two blocks every day, uh, will be broken down to term one and term two. That means it's term one is the first uh, quarter and term two is the second quarter. All right, and then we go to this column right here that says room, that's the room number. So those are how to find your classes. So S114, we go to the map, find it. Uh, the S stands for South Campus and then the number is the room number. If you have a North Campus class, so start with the N, let's say N204, then you would have to go to North Campus and find your class. And then here at lunch, the S Cafe stands for the cafeteria. So that's where you go for lunch. All right, now we go to the course description uh, row here. And it says, uh, that just basically says what your class is. So we have health. And then notice how it says two, you have two healths. That means period one, you have health on, if we follow the row, on B days. And then we have another health class on period two. So what that means is that's a block class. Black classes are back-to-back -back periods. 
So one periods one and two, we have a black class that is for health. And notice how it says, we only meet on B days since there's a gap right there when we look in the row. And then if we go down, we have social studies, we have band, lunch, English, that all meets every day. Now we get to the science nine honors block. Now this is tricky since it's a black class, but it meets every day. So for period seven and eight, we meet every day for science nine honors block. And the reason why there's four uh, rows for this is because it's broken down into the terms. So first semester, you have one for term one and term two for each uh, period. It's broken down. So, and then we also have another block that meets every day, which is the algebra B block. And that's periods nine and 10 every day. And period seven and eight, we have our science nine honors bio block. All right, now we go to the second to last column here. It says teacher, and that's basically who's teaching your class. That's your teacher you have. So looking down the list, we have Cross, we have Messenbrink, Verkler. Those are all the teachers to find what class they teach. Which one of your classes, you just follow the column, and it'll tell you the information all for that class. And then the last but not least, we have the last column here, and that's for credits. That tells you how many credits you are earning for that course. And then at the very bottom right, it gives you a sum or total of all your credits you are earning during that semester you're taking. All right, that concludes the schedule run through. Now you guys have a solid plan on how the schedule works and uh, how to find all your classes. All right, so now we did the schedule run through and we did the tour of South Campus Map. Now we're gonna put the two together and we're gonna go through a schedule real time as if we were the student here. We have our schedule on the left and we're gonna run through all our classes on the right here with the virtual outline map of South Campus. All right, so we're gonna enter through door A, the main entrance, and we're gonna find our first class, which it's an A day today, so we have two blanks. So our first two classes are blank, that means we have a study hall. So we're gonna take a left in the 100 hallways and boom, find our two study halls. We either have one of the rooms, let's say we're in S102, and we're gonna stay there for the first two periods of the day. So period one is finished, the bell rings. Period two, finish the bell rings. Now we have to go on to find our third class for period three. If we look at our schedule, period three, it's every day, all day class, it meets every day, both A and B. We have social studies and it's room number S4111. So we're gonna take a right here, another right, follow this 300 hallways and then take a left right here. And that's gonna get us to the 400 hallways back in the back corner, which is all social studies classrooms. And we found S411, which is our social studies class for period three. Now period three is finished, the bell rings on to uh, period four. So we look at our schedule, period four, follow the, the row, we have band and that the room number is S607. So luckily it's right next to our social studies class so it doesn't take long. We just get our social studies class, follow that small hallway, take a right, we're here at band. All right, now period four is finished. On to period five and look at that, we have lunch, sweet. So lunch, S Cafe, that is the cafeteria. So we're gonna go to the cafeteria over there. And then usually you stop by your locker first, put your backpack in there, and then take your, if you have cold lunch, take that. Otherwise you can get hot lunch at the cafeteria. All right, so period five is finished. We're all done with lunch. Now on to period six, we have English nine with Verkler. The room number is S906. Now that one is the 900 hallway, which is the one upstairs. So if we're going from the cafeteria, we're gonna follow the 100 hallways and you see the two diagonals, you have two ways to go uh, to the upstairs. Those are the two staircases. We're gonna go this staircase since it's close to us. Follow it up and look at that, S906 right there. We have our English class with Verkler. 
for period six. All right, now period six is finished. Time for period seven. We're gonna follow the hallway down to, to the left, go down the staircase, and now we just take a right and boom, we are right at our science class S111, science nine honors block bio, and notice how that's a block every day. So every A and B day. All right, so now we have that for period seven and eight, since it's a block class. So period seven's finished, we stay there. Period eight is finished, now we have to go find our math class. So if we look at our schedule, period nine, we have Algebra B block, and that's at S207. So coming from S111, we go take a left, take a right in the 200 hallways, and up towards the top, we have S207. That's our math class, and notice how it's another block every A and B day, as you can see on your schedule. If we go to the A column and the B column, they'll show your classes like we explained. And those are the period numbers, and we have a both nine and 10 every A and B day. And so we're gonna stay there for period nine. The bell rings, period 10. The bell rings, next thing you know it, it's time to go home. And now it's the same thing for a B day, same schedule, except the first two classes, which is health. So if we enter again through the main entrance, entrance A, we just take a right. We have health at S114. Boom, right there for the first two periods. And then the rest of the schedule is the same for every A and B day. And we just ran through that. All right, so that concludes our schedule run through the South Campus map and virtual tour of the campus. And we put the two together and we finished that. So hopefully now you have a solid foundation of how to go through a schedule, find your classes and kind of understand how the campus works, where the uh, all your classes are and the main, uh, spots and buildings are for at Arrowhead campus. All right. Thank you guys and have a terrific day.